What the heck is a tech lock and which one should I buy? You see all kinds of videos on YouTube going around, guys making knife sheets or holsters and saying, oh, it's, it's hold for a, a tech lock. But most of them don't show you what a tech lock is. A lot of them, I don't even know if they have them. They just make it and they drill holes in the right place and they sell them. So, if you're wondering which one to get and why, I thought I'd go through this real quick. This is a small one. This is the large one. Um, personally, just looking at them, the large one's a lot better quality. It is larger, so you know, take that into consideration. You'd be hanging more weight on it, probably. Start with the little guy here. The whole point of it is so you can put whatever on your belt without having to take your belt off. It's got holes drilled. The small one, they're half inch on center all the way around and the opening for a belt is exactly an inch and a half now it's got little squeeze tabs here that uh, keep it secure these little hooks so you put your belt through there hook it on and uh, hopefully it don't come off I mean it, it's pretty pretty good I don't see that being a problem However, I like the big one nicer. They've got the steel axle pins in them. They're not, I mean, they're plastic, but they're not, they're not crappy plastic. They're, they're pretty well made. But between the two of them, I'd, I'd vote for the big one. Now, uh, yeah, small one, half inch holes, or half inch spacing on the holes. Large one, three-quarter inch spacing on the holes so that's kind of inconvenient if you got a sheath set up for one it won't fit the other it's got to be either or so here's the big one same style squeeze tabs except they, they threw another thing in here you close it hooks and then this folds over and you, it's impossible to squeeze so as long as this is locked, it can't accidentally come off. It's impossible. It's got a little body contour to it. Again, three-quarter inch spacing. All steel pin uh, pivot or axles in it. The other cool thing about the big one, open this, open that, is the, uh, the belt spacer these two come out hard but they come out so if you close it now that's two and a quarter inches so you can get up to a two and a well, two inch two and a quarter web belt in it with these two spacers you can put it all the way down to like a quarter inch which would be silly but inch and a half or whatever your common your belt happens to be you can stick it wherever. That's an inch and a half right there, which is a pretty common men's belt. And these can't fall out because once it's closed, it's impossible for them to go anywhere. So that that's the two big differences. Two and a half inch belt, or two and a half inch opening, plus the adjustable spacers inch and a half opening, no adjustment, no safety lock, half inch spaced holes, three quarter inch spaced holes. So keep that in mind if you're looking to buy one because uh, I know like knife kits they don't tell you anything about them, they say oh big one, small one. And you're up for spending ten bucks a piece on them or whatever they are and I hope you get the right one. So I'm trying to prevent that screw up. And then to attach these, this is, I, I, I'm torn on this subject. Here's a, a scratched up, beat up uh, sheath from a K-bar. To put this on, you gotta use a Chicago screw. Safety thing, got her. Gotta use a Chicago screw like this. You should use a rubber-mounted one to give it a little forgiveness, but 
just for demonstration purposes. Uh, this ain't the right size one, but whatever, you, you get the point. If you put it on, it's going to be over here on the side, through this rivet hole. I'm not going to tighten it up, but you get the point. So it's only held on one side, but I mean, it, it's pretty stout. The only thing is, if your sheath isn't perfectly flat, you can't mount it in the middle because it'll be all cockeyed like this because the sheet's round. So your only other option is to mount it way off to the one side or the other. So your, your tech clock will be over here and your sheath will be over there. And that's how most of them are sold, or especially with your pancake sheaths and your thicker uh, thicker blades, thicker kydex. Your, your tech lock is going to be over here, and your sheath's going to be next to it, or holster, which is kind of weird. Instead of it being straight on, uh, so all the weight's downward, you're, you're getting kitty wampus. Um, not, not the biggest, biggest fan of that. This one out here. It's just it's kind of awkward, especially if you got someone with subst substantial weight. And this is mounted over here. It, that don't really work for me. But that, it's a good design, it's a good product. Um, these fit your standard Chicago screws or uh, these little mount screws, knife kits. Uh, yeah, knife kit cells with the rubber rubber spacer and you fit right in the hole but the whole point of the rubber spacer so well, you don't put a lot of like if you had stress on the sheath it would have a little forgiveness before you break something I mean you're really not gonna break kydex anyway but it's being a safe side but yeah that's your uh, that's a tech log So with the, uh, this is an odd size pelt, this is as good as I can get it, but uh, with the weight being offset, you want it, you want it tight on your belt, you don't, otherwise you're going to be all retarded like this, you know, this is a big knife hanging on here, so something to keep in mind, hope that uh, helped anybody out that's looking to buy them, they're kind of expensive, they're like 10 bucks a piece, but uh, I don't know, something you're into, I guess. But that's how a lot of uh, knife makers are making their Kydex sheets for these. So, uh, yeah, hope that helps you out.